From Red Country to Sharp Ends, both by Joe Abercrombie. I also finished recently the audiobook for um, Red Country. Um, this is the third in the four standalones uh, between the two trilogies in the First Law series. And so far, there hasn't been a single bad book in the series. I am truly amazed. Um, honestly, I am I am uh, mainly a science fiction reader, huge uh, sci-fi fan, and I also love horror stories. But this series, The First Law, it is amazing. Outstanding character work and the gritty, dark humor Joe Abercrombie writes. This, I haven't experienced this since I read um, the A Song of Ice and Fire series almost 10 years ago. And who knows uh, if this one will ever be finished. But yeah, this is amazing. And uh, Red Country especially, it has a special place in my heart because uh, we have a, an unlikely and surprising return of uh, one of the uh, former main characters. Uh, he lives a very different life now, but uh, it's sure um, it's getting troubled and there's a lot of dead people once he is finished. Uh, so this was quite the right. And I like the Western, the Wild West flair in this story. Uh, so the next one, I I must confess, I'm just going through this series because it's so good. Uh, the short story collection, Sharp Ends. And uh, so this is a wild one. Um, I have a feeling um, there's also some new characters here there seems to be a, um, a story about two women uh, that uh, takes um, several chapters in this collection but other than that um, it's uh, new perspectives um, by characters uh, we have met before uh, so for example uh, Gorst is having another appearance and uh, uh, we um, meet characters um, like Glockter, for example, uh, before he was crippled. And so um, the short stories, um, they play um, during or even before the first trilogy. But there also seem to be some um, that are on uh, par uh, with the timeline as far as uh, Red Country, at least. So... I, I can't see a drop in quality here or anything. Uh, this man, uh, Joe Abercrombie, well, in reality, uh, he seems to be the first of the Magi because he writes outstanding fantasy, if you want to call it like that. Um, this uh, with um, the reading by Stephen Pacey, it's just a unique experience and I can't get enough of it.